Can you believe it? It's Kenya Kiani Double A. My name is Steve Layton, and I travel the world finding amazing and delicious coffee for you to drink at home. Some make coffee difficult to understand and complicated, but here it's my job to make it easy and fun and tell you what's in my mug. So Kieni was somewhere that I visited just a few weeks ago um, and I'm going to show you some photos while I'm talking about Kieni on the screen here. They are super duper fantastic, took with my very posh camera that didn't get stolen or anything like that on the trip, um, which is, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful cooperative and really lovely people. It's owned by the Magaya Cooperative, which is based in the Airy. Um, and uh, it's a double A, and double A just basically means the size of the bean is larger than uh, an AB or whatever. This has been selected for by us from different outturns or lots from the farm. Um, and we cooked lots of different ones, and we found one that we really liked, which was a good size that we wanted uh, and was, was really important. Now, the mill has worked really hard on making sure that the mix of cherries delivered to the station are put in the appropriate places. So if it's picked well, you get more money for it than if it's picked badly. Um, so that encourages people to pick better. Now, that's not to say everybody can pick perfectly. So sometimes they do deliver some cherries, even if they're really good at picking, that they've cleared the trees for the season or whatever. But that is very much separated from the lots that they're sending to people like us. It's then weighed on some scales as it arrives and a little piece of paper comes off with their ID number on it and how much they've delivered. And then, then that goes to a bank account, which means that they get paid from the bank account. This is some of the highest prices I've seen paid to co-ops um, from in Kenya, like anywhere. Um, the way that they are doing quality means that they've been getting a consistently higher price, which they've been able to share amongst their cooperative which has meant that they've got people who are motivated to deliver quality. If you're somebody who picks good quality in the area and you deliver to another station who doesn't pay you for that quality, you would be very tempted to go to the one that did pay you for quality. And that's what Kieni's done a really good job of. So we haven't done this for a little while and I felt it was time because it must have been about five, six weeks since we've last done this. So it's time for Snozzer in the Bowl. Um, this week it's Kenya Kieni AA. Um, and there's a kind of reason for choosing these as I do them, that this is an aromatic coffee. Kenyans, washed Kenyans tend to be those big, aromatic, strong, powerful, zingy coffees. So I can smell straight from here that I am getting the zing. It is incredibly fresh. Think like lemon zest. I want you to think kind of like lime zest. That just as you're grating it, you get that real waft of flavour come up. And that's what I'm getting here. A whole heap of citrus, but still remains very sweet. Um, you know, it's not like it's just completely out of balance. And there's a little bit of like a creamy smell to it as well, which um, makes me just want to taste it more and more. Okay, so this week we're off to Kenya, which is here. Uh, I was there just a few weeks ago. Uh, after visiting Ethiopia, I went and spent a few days in Kenya and went to Nyeri and Tathika. Um, but Kenya was formerly uh, a colonial state of the British Empire, uh, and that happened in 1920, when uh, evil English people went and colonised very kind and lovely African uh, Kenyan people. Um, and that was a, a, a colony until 1963. Um, it was technically known as the colony uh, of um, uh, come on, Steve, Te colony of Kenya, uh, and referred to the interior lands of Kenya. There was a strip which was um, on lease from the Sultan of Zanzibar, uh, which was the coastal part here, and um, that was uh, a separate administration that ran that. Um, as that wasn't colonised, that was much more leased. Um, the colony came to an end in 1963 when a black majority government was elected for the very first time and eventually it de declared independence as Kenya. Um, that's Kenya. So Kenya, 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 make a Chemex of Kenya. I can't do it, Chris, to do it for me. He's very good at it, much better than me. Um, but we are about to taste the Kieni. I think as filter coffee, Kenyans are probably some of my favourites, just because you get this really kind of bright, big acidity. Uh, and with this one, you're getting lots of lots of limes and lemons, um, a little bit of orange zest. Uh, you're getting lots of fruit sweetness. 
um, but it's very acidity driven. It's kind of crisp, it's clean, it's sharp. Um, if I'm gonna say anything, there's a little bit of like a underripe red currant on the end. So that little bit of like tartness um, that just makes Kenya so unique and so delicious. Um, I'm always super happy when we can share Kenyas in my mug because they really are super, super complex, but also obvious flavors. It's, um, it's much more in your face than some of the others. Thank you for joining me. Um, happy New Year and all of that stuff. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to 12 months of amazing coffee uh, because life is too short for bad coffee. Thank <laughs> you.